Good evening to those who are listening. It's August 15, 2019, 10, 18 p.m. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to try to do it. I wasn't sure what I was going to call this video. I still don't know at this point, but obviously since there's a title, now. I was thinking about maybe calling it it comes in threes or to me the world has ended it's just a lot of stuff going on and I just don't know how I'm going to deal with this besides with God's help but this is I don't know, it's a lot for anyone to handle. So, as you know, I got the news two days ago that I'm not going to be able to live here no more. And after that, uh, the next day is when I wound up in the hospital. And that was really bad because I had to have an ambulance and they had to go through the... door so I can just think of how my co-workers feel now great I don't know what happened I think it's something to do with my back and stress I think it was I think there's some not some bad circulation going on my blood pressure was good and I mean, I just had it checked a couple weeks ago. They said two weeks ago was the last time when I saw my doctor. I don't know, I thought it was three, but still. And every time it's been checked, it's always been right around the 120 to 80 mark. The last one I had was 124 over 82. My blood pressure has been really good up until yesterday. And now I just checked it again. Well, I had two readings because I had I couldn't believe it was so high when I checked it the first time. It was 184 over 111, and then it went down to 150 over 108. But still, that's not very good. I got my, I got a blood pressure machine, and the batteries wore out a few months ago, so I haven't checked it with that in a while. But you know, I've been to the doctor and checked, and everything's been good. But I think there's something going on where. Because this feels like what I've had before in the past. And I also remember now that I think about it, uh, when I was walking to, to, to go out on the floor to work, I had some numbness in my left foot. And I used to have problems with that, especially the left side. I'd have numbness in my f foot and in my leg and in my left arm. And then sometimes it spread over to the right side, but it was mainly on the left side. And they couldn't figure out what it was all this time. They still don't know. I really think it has something to do with my back. I think there's a pinched nerve or something going on. But anyway, that was that. So, um, I'm trying to think of when I talked. I guess it wasn't like last night. It was the night before. The night before, um... You know, my mom was like, well, because I went and saw my, my mom and my sister. And my mom was like, well, you can stay here, you know, for a month and you know, until we move. You know, at least I would give you a little more time. But my sister doesn't want me to come back. She heard about the person that was hanging out, which, you know, she, she knows the person too and doesn't like him and and now she that uh I stay with her that he's going to be coming over all the time and she doesn't want that so now I'm not allowed back there so there goes that option I thought at least I'd have a month to figure some more you know figure out what the next move to go to but that looks like that's out of the question now which is nice and then this morning I woke up and I didn't feel good. I kind of felt like I did before. I got better during the day, but um, it was my day 
to get the kids to come over, and I didn't want to miss that. But I also didn't want to, you know, have anything happen. Because I was, I was worried about that, I guess. I guess maybe I shouldn't be as worried about that. But, you know, the same things were happening. I had the same stuff, you know, the chest pains and the dizziness and all that. But, you know, I wanted to see my kids. Because I don't know how many more times I'll get to see them again. Because, you know, I'm not going to be living here much longer. So anyway, um, kids came over. And, you know, I had to take them to the dentist first. So they came over. And, you know, they kept wanting to eat. And I'll take them to Burger King. And then I got them a movie. They wanted to see a movie, uh, Detective Pikachu. So I got them the movie, rented the movie. And, um, you know, we watched, uh, well, first we got the food. And then after that, we uh, watched the movie. And then after the movie was over, they wanted to go home. They s said that they didn't like sleeping because on, on the, the beds and stuff that I got for them, it was too hard on their backs and it hurt and it gave them a headache. So that was their excuse. But um, that was like the, th the third thing that happened. And I don't know, it just breaks my heart. You know, I tried so hard for, you know, when I was in Colorado. So I could come back and be with my kids. I, you know, I, I got on the Section 8. And, you know, that was my, my way to get back to them. And then everything failed with the, the mold and everything. And lost that place. And then I was at my sister's. And the kids couldn't come over there because of my mom. So I finally get it, you know, I've, I've seen them four times. This is the fourth time I've had them over in 14 months. And now that could be it. That might be it. I know my kids love me, but they didn't even want to spend the night. They only spent a few hours over here. It was like seven hours. I don't know. I don't know, this makes it really hard for me because get the kids tomorrow and take them to the dentist again and then I have to go to work. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with work with all this on me now. How am I going to face my co-workers? I don't know what they think. They probably think, oh gosh, here we go again, another uh, father-like son, because my son had a panic attack, even though this wasn't a panic attack. This was more just like I was, felt like I was going to pass out. And, you know, I don't know, I was under stress, sure, because I'm worrying about everything. I gave it to God, you know, I gave it to Jesus, I'm, you know, it's yours. But still, you know, I can't, I can't stop worrying. It's, it's, it's human nature. I can't help it. I'm not trying to. You know, when all this stuff's going on, it's hard to just say, oh, yeah, I'm, nothing's going on. I don't have to worry about nothing. It's hard to do. I'm afraid I'm going to be at work. And I'm going to see a family and some kids. And, it's, and I'm going to lose it. And... I'm already embarrassed to go. With me. I think there's something going on, though. There's something doing this. It's not just me. 
Because if that's the case, then I'm in trouble. But, you know, I've had stress in the past, and this is, well, I mean, this is what it felt like, but there's to it than that. I don't think it's just that. There's something going on, because it was sudden. I mean, literally, just two weeks ago, my blood pressure's perfect. And now I can't get it down below 150. You know, I should take a reading. Talk. Sorry. It's got to be down now. <clears throat> what was good, though, was my pulse was, was 75, so that's normal. But anyway, um, yeah, you know, I know you're not supposed to be talking when you're doing this. You know, let's just forget that for a minute. I didn't even know if I wanted to do a video on this because you know for first off you know it sounds like I'm looking for pity or something or you know, I'm not I'm, I just want to explain things what's going on and, and then and just you know ask for prayers for God's will and I don't know where this is going it doesn't seem like it's going in a good place broken hearted and no will to go on you know uh, I understand I really do understand people that have problems you know that have things like this happen and you know wanting to commit suicide I, I totally understand that and you know I would never do that because of what I believe but if I didn't I would you wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here right now. But that's another thing. That's God has saved me from that. And I still will always say no tribulation that we go through on earth is worth killing yourself over. But I know the pain. And it's awful. It's like I went through so much to get back here. And I've had nothing but bad things. I could go back and it would be a long list. It's unbelievable. But I just kept trusting in God. I'm still trusting in God. And I don't care, devil, how much you're going to do. I mean, I want to give up. Yeah, I'll admit it. But I'm not. You're not, you're not getting me. Anyway, somehow, some way, I don't see it now. Some way, there's going to, some day, it's going to get better, I guess. Things are finally going to get better. And I've been saying this for a long time now. But it has to get better. And God's got to, God's, God's still got something for me, I think. I'm not sure what it is. God. You know, please, you know, tell me what you want me to do, where you want me to go. Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? I just pray that your will be done, Lord Jesus. Please. <sighs> anyway, I mean, I'm calm right now. I'm just really upset and depressed. Yeah, so I'll admit it, I'm depressed, I'm sad. But anybody would be in my situation. And I don't think anybody would blame me for that. Especially if you've gone through something like this. It just seemed like I had a deja vu. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. But um just please pray for me. And I've been getting some other people that have, you know, thrown their needs out there too, and I'm, I'm praying for them. So you know, if you ever have anything that you need to pray about, you know, feel free to comment, and I will definitely pray for you. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm just going deeper and deeper down this 
hole that I can't seem to get out of. But <clears throat> I just gotta trust in God still. I still trust in God. Don't worry about that. I might lose hope in everything else. But I'm never going to lose my hope and faith in God. There's a reason for this. I anyway, I'm sorry if you know anybody doesn't want to hear something like this because you know it sounds. You know who wants to hear about someone else's you know bad situations and bad luck and all that crap. I understand that, but you know if you're. I don't know. I mean, I would do the same for anyone. I would pray for you, and I would feel bad if something happened bad in your life. That, you know, I know that that what I'm going through is probably nothing compared to what they're going through. They're probably a lot worse. Through worse, and and I pray to and. I understand. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna do my blood pressure check. I mean, I can stop talking. Talk when you're doing it, but you guys can go. I don't need unless you're curious to see what my blood pressure is now. Thanks for watching. God bless. I love you guys. One fifty four over one oh three seventy eight pulse. Still not good. I don't know what it is. For some reason ever since I guess when I went to work that day and then called the ambulance, it's been in the one fifties. I mean it was higher when I first happened, but it's consistently been in the one fifties now since. So for a day. I guess it's only a day, but still it usually I don't know. I gotta maybe work on my back and see if I can find that kink or the whatever the uh, whatever the pinched nerve or whatever's going on. Maybe I can do something. My neck is really hurting. It's hurting, but I did a little bit on that. I don't know. It's just I don't know. I think there's just something out. Something's just out. All right. I'm sorry to take so long on this. Thanks for watching, God bless.